Now, thinking seriously, we have no excuse or reasons not to be happy and not to be healthy, because I read from the mind of some of you, and what about health? I get these thoughts now. If someone is not healthy, it is his own or her own fault. But what about little children, innocent children? When did they sin so that they would have cancer or this or that and all that? Now, studying just this subject and believing to the law of reincarnation, there is a reason. Because Joseph Banwell, the Christ, the God man, said, whatever one sows, so he shall reap. And sometimes you see people who have seen terribly killing, doing so many things, passing away and dying peacefully in their bed around people strong enough to protect them. Never mind that they are accompanied by the curses of thousands, then is Joshua Manuel a liar? No. We are sons of God. Sooner or later, we'll return. There are two ways to return to our real self, the divine. The one which is the one we should use, the secrets of the truth, is to use the mind. And the heavenly divine enlightenment, and the holy archangels, and our guardian angel, and law, the Lord, Joshua Manuel, because himself, the Logos, is around us, ready to help us, to see the truth. This is the best way. And the other, the difficult, the hard way, is the whip of destiny, that which the Hindus call karma. We don't like to use just other language. What a man sows, so he shall reap. And scientifically, the law of cause and effect, of relativity, because all the words are governed by laws. So, which is the way which a seeker of the truth would just prefer to take? Transgression, ignorance, fighting, <laughs> hatred, living blindly in his own life, and then have the whip of destiny, or reasoning, making good use of the mind. Then I can say, how? Because human beings want everything ready and you also want everything ready. How? By start checking your life. I am living as every other human being is living and that is the divine grace. I am living. But how am I living? All human beings around us, personality, each one of them is living the same life. No. So each one has to study the way he or she is living. Her or his possibilities and probabilities and how to make good use of the powers, the power of the mind given to us. I'll put it more plainly. We have to keep our material body in good health by finding the way, which is no. <coughs> we have to make a self-analysis. A seeker of the truth every night is exercising, making the exercise of introspection, looking within, checking. So. Start to check our 
desires, our emotions, our intentions in life. And in the way you are living, what are the reactions of that way of living? Creating what? Love amongst us, or enmity and hatred and fighting and aggression. Here are the causes of the misery in life today. So the most important thing is to start finding out in your subconsciousness that some total of the elementals you have created, we call them personal egoism. And you think that personal egoism is your ego. Great mistake. Your personal egoism has nothing to do with your spirit, soul, ego self. Your real self. You say, but am I double? I say, yes. Yeah. As long as we live in the material world, we are just like a line. One line, yet with two points. And start to see the quality of these two points. The one is divine, holy. It is your spirit, ego, soul self. Bright, like the sun bright. In you in its incorruptibility spirit body, which is in your material body also. Try to find it. How? By casting away from your present day personality, man or a woman with a name, because even that, having three-fourths of itself the egoism, yet in it as its spine is your own ego, <coughs> divine self. Freed from the illusions. <coughs> Again, how? How? By introspection. Checking your behavior. Studying the nature and the quality of your emotions, of your desires, of your intentions, your relationship with other people in the family in the community, in your work. And in the course of time, you will see that this so-called egoism, the sum total of, I call them, negative elementals, will give its place to the sun rising of your real ego spirit, soul self, which is now even in your material bodies. Of course, these are subjects that need much, much explanation and work. <coughs> but I think I have given much material which the leaders of the circles I'd call them brothers or sister guides, will give you and help you to find the good way in life towards happiness.